retired. Admiral John Kirby is the National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications. Admiral, good morning to you. Good morning. What can you tell us about the condition of Brittany Griner right now and what the next steps are for her? Uh, our team that flew back with her and met her on the ground uh, tell us that she was in very, very good spirits when she got off the plane um, and appeared to be uh, obviously in good health. But we want to make sure, which is why uh, we're going to get her over to that treatment facility and, and have her have all the access she needs uh, to health care workers uh, just to make sure that, uh, that she's okay. It is great news for Brittany Griner. It raises a lot of questions. Let's talk about the trade. She was exchanged for a convicted Russian arms dealer, known by some as the Merchant of Death, who was accused of flooding weapons into terrorist organizations, rogue regimes, enemies of the U.S., such as the Taliban and al-Qaeda. Do you believe that Victor Boot will now once again pose a threat to the United States and to Americans? Well, that's going to be up to Mr. Boot. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stay vigilant uh, and we're going to defend our national security, uh, whether it's against folks uh, that do his line of work or even him or anybody else that might threaten. Are our you concerned about it? We did an assessment before we made this trade. Uh, a national security assessment, which we normally do, uh, that was done in this case. Uh, we believe that we're going to be able to continue to protect and defend national security interests, whether it's from uh, a man like Mr. Boot uh, or anybody else uh, that might threaten it. Again, this is going to be a decision for Mr. Boot to make, uh, but we're going to make sure we stay vigilant. As happy as the news is for Brittany Griner, it is devastating for Paul Whelan, the American former Marine who has been held on espionage charges, a conviction in Russia since 2016. His family called it a catastrophe for him while saying they were very happy that Brittany Griner had been released. Was this the administration's best chance to get Paul Whelan home and now it's failed? I would say that the, the deal we, we got yesterday uh, was the only deal we could get at the time. But that doesn't mean uh, that there's not going to be options going forward to try to get Paul Whelan home. As you heard the president say yesterday, we're going to keep working at this very, very hard, including this day. So we're going to keep ha having active discussions with the Russians to see what we can do uh, to secure Paul's release. That is not going to be, uh, that's not going to be forgotten. That's not going to be something that's not top of mind. Uh, we're going to keep working at it. It's interesting because David Whelan, again, Paul's brother, who was quite gracious in his statement, said, it is clear that the U.S. government has no concessions that the Russian government will take for Paul Whelan. In. Was Victor Boot the leverage and he was spent on the release of Brittany Griner? Absolutely not. This was not a choice between Paul or Brittany. Uh, the only deal we could secure was uh, Brittany for Mr. Boot. That was, that was the only deal available to us. Um, and so the choice really was uh, either we bring Brittany home and get one American released or get none. And obviously, uh, we, we chose to get Brittany home. So we're going to keep working uh, for, for Paul Whelan. But there was not a choice of like, here, you, you know, you give us boot and, uh, and you can decide which one you bring home, Paul or Brittany. It was only boot for, for Brittany Griner. And again, we had to, we had to take that step to get, to, to get at least one uh, of the two home. There is a larger policy consideration here, a real concern about the message that this sends and the incentive something like this now brings uh, to rogue regimes or hostile regimes. Regimes. Take an American on trumped up charges and you can get one of your uh, notorious prisoners or you can get something out of the U.S. government. How, how do you guard against that? How are you safeguarding against that, making it essentially more dangerous for Americans abroad? President Biden has put into place some additional um, accountability measures uh, to discourage exactly uh, that action by bad actors overseas, whether they're state or non-state actors. Some of these are visa bans, sanctions, other restrictions that we're going to put that we have in place. Uh, we also have now started to put a designation on travel to countries for Americans to go look to see what the detention risk is. So if you're going to travel overseas for pleasure or for work, uh, uh, you know, go to the State Department website at state.gov, look at that country, and you'll see whether uh, there's a detention risk and what that risk might be before you travel so that you can go informed, fully informed, but also go knowing this, that even if you do everything right uh, and something happens to you and you are wrongfully detained, this president and this administration will work hard to get you home. That's an important signal that needs to be sent to Americans uh, as well, that this government is not going to forget you and we're going to keep working hard. And if it means making tough decisions like this one, then that's what we'll do. Admiral John Kirby, NSC spokesperson, thank you for your time this morning. Appreciate it. You bet.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.